Hey everybody, welcome to the video. I'm gonna talk about programmer procrastination and how to beat it. So, I know some of you out there are very busy. You gotta go and play Apex. Maybe you gotta go out drinking or something, who knows? So you're busy, busy, busy. So I'll get to the point. So, the easiest way to beat programmer procrastination is to set easy to achieve goals. What does that include? Well, number one, 20 minutes a day, that's it. That's your goal, that's the plan. You want to learn how to code, you do 20 minutes a day, five days a week. You want to take two days off, you want to do five days a week, 20 minutes a day. Not an hour a day, not five hours a day, 20 minutes a day. Why is this the key to ending programmer procrastination? Number one, you learn much more quickly if you expose yourself on a frequent basis to whatever it is you want to learn. So, for example, five minutes a day is 100 minutes a week. If you do that 20, five minutes a day, 20 minutes a day is 100 minutes a week, if you do five days a week, that 100 minutes spread over five days is gonna be far more effective in you easily and quickly learning how to code versus say spending 200 minutes a week, one day a week learning. The key to convincing your brain to learn quickly is to give it a frequent exposure to something. I've discussed this in other videos. The reason this helps with procrastination is because, number one, it's not a huge daunting task, right? To just sit down and do 20 minutes a day is not hard. It's like, even if you're like, oh, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this, it's only 20 minutes. 20 minutes doesn't take long, you just do 20 minutes a day. That's why in Studio Web, it's actually designed for this. It's designed to remember where you were. Studio Web is my app that teaches people how to code. Links below, yes, I'm shamelessly self-promoting, but the the training app was designed specifically to teach code. It's not a general purpose training platform and specialized to teach how to teach code. That's one of the reasons why it's so effective. So it's designed that you come in, you do your 20 minutes or whatever you want to do. You should be 20 minutes and then you, it remembers where you were. So you come back, you, you know, you remember, blah, blah, blah. I won't get into any more details here, but that 20 minutes a day, five days a week, will help a lot with procrastination because what happens, that 20 minutes first day, the second day, third, third day, et cetera, you start developing habit quickly. You start exposing yourself to coding every day. So your brain goes, ooh, I better learn this. That's good. And number two, or number three, you get momentum. Momentum is very important. So that, that daily exposure, 20 minutes a day, you get this momentum. If by some circumstance you find yourself doing 30 minutes, that's cool, but don't stress yourself. Don't stress yourself, that's the key. That's how you get in good shape too when it turns to working out. Everybody over trains. Well, not everybody, but most people when they start training. A little bit every day is better than super hard once a week. Um, so yeah, that's the number one way to take care of programmer procrastination. Just do that 20 minutes a day and you're gonna see, you're gonna start getting a lot of things done quickly. So let's dive a little bit deeper for those of you who uh, don't need to go play Apex. So number one, uh, you have to ask yourself, why are you procrastinating in the first place? There's probably three reasons, or a combination of these three reasons. Uh, number one, fear. Fear you're not gonna succeed. Fear that you won't learn. Fear you won't, it won't go anywhere for you. We're gonna deal with those issues soon. It's just boredom. You just, oh, I don't wanna do this, it's so boring. And number two, this feeling of overwhelm. There's so much to learn. Oh my God, there's all these languages, all these things. Uh, People watch this channel know the answer. So the overwhelm, the fear, of this feeling of being overwhelmed about how much you gotta learn, this is an illusion because in reality, uh, you're gonna have to learn this much about a particular language uh, to be a pro to start getting making money. It is no programmer in the world knows everything about everything. It's just not possible. There's no very few programmers in the world who know 60% uh, of a programming language. Most developers know maybe 20, 30% of a language. They may know one framework, a little bit of, an, of another, that's it. I have written software, commercial software, in nine different languages over the years, and I forget most of it. Because once you stop coding in a particular framework or a particular language, you forget the details. And, but once you, you know, if, you, if you've done a lot, if you did a lot of Java code and like I had, and then you jump back into it uh, four years later after having stopped, it may take a day or two to get up to, up to speed and then you're up to speed again. 
the key to uh, dealing with the sense of being overwhelmed is to, uh, number one, realize that A, no developer in the world knows everything. B, you only have to learn a very small fraction of things to actually be a pro. And C, the world, in the world of software development as a coder developer, really it's all about the need to nerd reality of the situation. What does that mean? You learn new things as you need to use them. Need to nerd. That's it. So don't worry about being overwhelmed. In terms of fear, the fear is, will I be able to learn this? Well, if you do the 20 minutes a day, you will learn it. The other fear is, am I going to learn the right things? There's nothing, you can't lose. You can't lose. Even if you learn Ruby, believe it or not, you can't lose because Ruby is a great language. And even if you can't find jobs in Ruby, what you learn in Ruby can be applied to Python, can be applied to Java, can be applied to C Sharp, can be applied to JavaScript, doesn't matter. There's no losing by learning to write code. Impossible. The other fear of people have, will I make it? Well, if you just do that 20 minutes a day, you will make it. Now, what happens if it takes you two months to learn something where it takes other people one month? Well, first of all, yeah, maybe it takes you two months instead of the one month, but I can guarantee you to be a lot of other people, it takes them three months or four months to learn it. doesn't matter because once you learn it, you can unlearn it. Once you understand the foundational concepts that underlie all the languages, you know, functions, arrays, objects, uh, conditionals, flow control, all these things. Once you understand this, it can never go away. It can never be taken away. And nobody's going to say to you, did you learn how to use functions? Did it take you two months or three months? Nobody's going to ask you that. Nobody cares. So don't worry about it. You can't lose, number one. Number two, doesn't matter how long it takes you to get there because once you're there, it can never be taken away. Remember, learning to code and learning to be a software developer is like developing a superpower. And number three, uh, boredom. I think a lot of people get bored because they don't make a direct connection between the code that they're learning and what the end goals are, the jobs that you can get, the money you can make, uh, the, the, the projects that you can build. Now, I could see that with a lot of code courses where it's, it's really kind of academic and it's detached from reality. You have to get reality-based coding where they teach you to do real things. That's why I like teaching with the web stack because with the web stack courses, for example, with uh, my IWD web stack course, you learn JavaScript, but you learn JavaScript to do things in a website, in a web page. You learn to do what they call DOM manipulation, D-O-M, DOM manipulation, where you can do animations and draw and validate forms, all kinds of stuff. So you're learning coding concepts and techniques, but you're actually learning how it, it's used in the real world rather than writing code to move a character around the screen, which is kind of boring. It, well, it seems like fun, but if I'm going to move a, a character around a screen, I'd rather just use a joystick or a controller, you know? Um, it, there's nobody making money doing that. We're making money writing JavaScript code to uh, build web apps and websites. So, yeah, uh, boredom comes from maybe not making a connection in your brain between the code that you're learning and writing versus where it's going to take you. So there you go. Um, that's it. I think to, I covered it all in terms of programmer procrastination. You know the reasons why. It's fear, boredom, feeling of overwhelm. I hope I dispelled those myths. And the way to solve it is just to do 20 minutes a day. 20 minutes a day, constant exposure. And what you'll see once you start gaining some momentum, the 20 minutes will become 22 minutes. It'll become 25 minutes. It'll become 30 minutes. It'll become 40 minutes. And become an hour. Now all of a sudden you're going to love what you do. But you know, even if you, you know, one day you do an hour, uh, 40 minutes and, and uh, you decide, ah, next day I'm tired, just do 20 minutes. But again, you got to do that 20 minutes a day, minimum, uh, uh, five days a week. But if you only feel like doing 20, don't push yourself more. The key is, is to uh, create minimal resistance. It's like when uh, I was back in school, I don't know if I said this or not, maybe I did, but way back in, when I went to school about 6,000 years ago, if you had a 50-page report to write, boy, did you, per well, at least I procrastinated quite a bit. But if it was only like the two paragraphs I had to write, I just did it right away, no big deal. That's what 20 minutes a day does. It's simple, it's easy to approach. It creates momentum, it eliminates programmer procrastination.